Four, three, two, one. Two, two, three, have a dynamic mic? Need some boost? We have two solutions, the fat head and the cloud lifter. Which one did I like better? Stay tuned and find out. I want to talk a little bit about the differences between a dynamic and a condenser microphone. Condensers are great because they don't need a lot of gain, but they can pick up a lot of room noise. Dynamic mics differ from condenser microphones in that it relies more on the air pressure in front of the microphone and mitigates a lot of the room tone. So dynamics are often preferred for podcasts and radio stations. The problem with this is it needs a ton of gain. Not many can afford to purchase high quality preamps with lots of gain or have a recorder with enough gain to output a usable signal. The solution is a fat head or a cloud lifter. Both the fat head and the cloud lifter take 48 volt phantom power from your interface and amplifies the signal of your microphone. The cloud lifter claims 25 decibels of boost without relying on phantom source for signal quality. The fat head doesn't claim that and offers 20 dB of clean gain. Let's see if there's a difference. This is a test of the cloud lifter CL1. It's plugged in line between the Shure SM7B and the Zoom F8 recorder. This is a test of the Fethead amplifier. It's plugged in line between the Shure SM7B and the Zoom F8 recorder. Our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now we are engaged in a great civil war, testing whether that nation or any nation so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. This nation, under God, shall have a new birth of freedom, and that government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. I can't hear too much difference in the quality and color of the signal. What do you think? Comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Another huge plus for the FET head is you can plug it straight into the microphone. Something to note, the FET head is significantly cheaper. But what wins it for me is the size. Just look at that. That the Fed head is able to deliver similar quality and function in a smaller device is amazing. Want more content? Be sure to subscribe to Atola and Michael Murdo. He shot and edited this, so thank him. Mm, done.